The Ghana Black Stars have maintained their latest spot in the FIFA rankings. We'll have a look at some of the changes that were run around in the latest FIFA rankings as uh, July 18th rankings is out. So Argentina maintained their top spot, a new entrance into the top three. Uh, we'll look at all that today. We're also going to talk about the Ghana Black Stars captain Andrea Yu, uh, except from his lecture last week at the University of Ghana, Legon. And in this one here, we we'll look at why Andrea Yu never really went to any university uh, growing up. He explains his football career is a set to account for that. Also, John P Joseph Painsel was on target uh, for his LA Galaxy side. We'll have a look at all that today. But as usual, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, click on that notification bell to get more updates. We'll jump right into it and start off from the camp of the latest FIFA rankings. Yeah, the latest FIFA rankings are out and Ghana have maintained their spot. Here, as you realize, over the international break, the only games Ghana played in were those games in that World Cup qualifier, the double header World Cup qualifier we had in June. Aside that, in July, there were no international competitions. As you know, the African Cup of Nations did not take place. Other international competitions did not take place as well. So Ghana were left with that one. And that meant that Ghana have maintained their position in the latest Coca-Cola FIFA rankings. Uh, 64th globally and 12th on the African continent. Now, having defeated Mali and Central African Republic uh, during June's World Cup qualifiers, Ghana made a leap in the rankings but maintained their position in the few, a few weeks later. The Black Stars were inactive in the month of July as compared to countries in Europe and South America that were involved in European Championship and Copa America respectively. Owing to that, the significant movers were from those continents. It was a top three finish for Spain uh, now three continental competitions and a plethora of international friendlies have been served in the month of June and July with no fewer than 125 matches having been contested across the globe. Having successfully defended uh, the accommodable Copa America crown, Argentina tightened the opposition on the first place at the top france second are still the closest challenges after reaching the semi-final of the uefa euro 2024 a newly crowned champion spain have fed up five places they have yet more reason to celebrate after hauling themselves into the top three of the rankings while beating finalist england uh, finished in fourth up one place they are just behind the leading pack, just behind having leapfrog Brazil, who are now fifth down one place. Belgium are sit down three places from third and now find themselves outside the top five with the Netherlands in seventh and Portugal eighth, down two places from sixth. Just behind them is Colombia, ninth, up three points after making the final of the Copa America. Uh, while Italy are 10th, they stay as they were. Elsewhere in the top 50, two sides have, have risen significantly up the standings after having graced the quarterfinals of their respective continental competitions. Turkey are 26th, up 16 places. Venezuela are 37, up 17 places. Other notable advances were made by Panama, up 8 places in 35th, and Canada up eight places in 40th. They both performed admirably on US soil. In the Men's Nations Cup winners, New Zealand are also up into 94, 13 places and are back amongst the, the top 100 after a seven year hiatus. While other Pacific nations also made notable uh, progress, including Fiji 153rd, up 13 places, and Vanauti 167th, up eight places the next edition of the coca-cola fifa rankings uh, will be given on the september 18th and that is it there on the african continent it remains as you were uh, morocco senegal uh, egypt Cote d'Ivoire, nigeria they make up the top five now ghana will return to action in september the first week of september uh, where they will play in angola in kumasi before traveling to niger for the second match 
of Group F. The former African champions are hoping to make a return to the African Cup of Nations, which will be hosted next year, December, in Morocco. So that is it there uh, with, the, with the latest FIFA rankings. Andrea Ayou spoke about why he did not ever go to the university. In a lecture speaking at an event, he said uh, that uh, he could not because of football. I didn't have the opportunity to go to the university because I started so early. But it makes you remember a lot of things you know. Nothing replaces your school days. I was in a French school here in East Legon for so long before I went to France. And that, and that was, you know, a great moment. You remember what happened in class uh, being a bit stubborn sometimes. But yeah, coming back here, I felt, I just felt happy. And that's for me uh, that's important i don't want to always say everything in a short time but bit by bit if we have time to go into these things uh, you know we are more than open uh, to open up a lot of experiences uh, that we've had to be able to help the ones coming up uh, that is andrea you there he was speaking at the university of ghana uh, students where he gets lectured in a psychology class he never went to school obviously at that time he was in the early stages of his footballing career and we all know how that goes Andrea Ayu and his father uh, Betty Pele uh, young age uh, to start things off and it's clear that some sacrifices would have to be made fortunately university education was one of those sacrifices a Joseph Painso on target for LA Galaxy in their win over Colorado in the Major League Soccer he scored the second goal in a 3-2 home win as LA Galaxy returned to winning ways after a defeat to Dallas FC in their previous outing. Uh, the former gang man lasted 88 minutes in the game uh, with 8.7 uh, rating. His goal was taking his tally to seven goals and five assists in 21 games this season at his new side. Uh, Joseph Painso has hit the ground running since joining LA Galaxy in February 2024, signing a four-year deal. LA Galaxy are leading the Western Conference table with 46 points, sitting two points above second place LAFC. And that is it there. The Ghana Premier League uh, will kick off on the 6th of September. That is according uh, to the Ghana Football Association. We'll be uh, following it closely and updating you accordingly. And that is our end today. Andrea, are you on why you never went to the university? LA Galaxy man Joseph Painto on target and the latest FIFA rankings and the moving in and around at the top and bottom and the African continent and in between. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week.